this is Molly. I am here with some uh, slightly wet fingernail polish. Who is this reading for? Because my ears are ringing, the birds are singing. <laughs> and I'm hearing. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -na -na. Who is this for? Yeah. Da -na -na -na. All I'm saying, pretty baby, la la love you, don't mean maybe, oh, all I'm saying, pretty baby, la la love you, don't mean maybe, I love you. Da, na, na, na. Okay, all right, here we go. Hi, Taurus. This is Molly. I am a clear audience intuitive empath. Uh, wet fingernail polish may mean something for you. Uh, the pixies, that's the pixies. La la, love you. What's the message for Taurus, please? Da, na, na, na. Real, real. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I do. Hmm. I love you. Da -na -na -na. All I'm saying, pretty baby. La la, love you. I don't mean maybe. Hmm. All I'm saying, pretty baby. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. One's on the floor, one's on the table. One's on the floor, one's on the table. Floor, table. Okay. All right. Final message for Taurus. La la love you. Don't mean maybe. All I'm saying, pretty baby. Okay, so this was on the floor. La la love you. Don't mean maybe. All I'm saying. Pretty baby. Yeah. All right. Taurus, here we go. Here's your message, Taurus. Let's see what's going on on the bottom of the deck. Oh, there she is. Da na na na. Yeah. Ooh, isn't she pretty? Yeah, she's a Nine of Pentacles. This is a kick-ass, self-abundant woman. This is somebody full of self-love. This is somebody who has done the work. Oh yes, this person uh, is pretty kick-ass. La, la, love you. I don't mean maybe. Here comes justice, right on. What does justice have to say about this single woman? Hmm, the Ten of Cups, oh my God! Da -na -na -na. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. Da -na -na -na. All I'm saying, pretty baby. Okay, somebody is totally in love with this chick right here. Uh, she may be, uh, we may have a Libra. Uh, she may be, this just may be a karmic thing that is uh, ready. And you know, karmic isn't good or bad, you guys. Karmic is what it is. It is, 
You know, if a karmic person comes into your life, they could be like a good karmic person. They could be like your reward from the universe for dealing with a freaking bad person. So, uh, looks like, da -da -da -da. I can't do a whistle. Weep. Real. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's hear about it. Somebody may be realizing or wanting to say, I love you. Okay, we have somebody here. This person spent quite a long time uh, as the hanging man. This person had to take the time to, uh, if you look, the hanging man is hung up by his foot so he can see everything from a different perspective and get enlightened on the situation. So this person uh, may be realizing this is some sort of... Uh, Like some sort of spiritual thing because they are, you know, hanging right now. Um, some sort of something that is different than the rest. But if you look, they have their eyes closed. This person has had their eyes closed. They really haven't been completely taking the look around. They've been uh, very scared to say, I love you okay uh this person the person may, this person may have gone through some sort of depression um this person may have uh like mental depression or um Something along that line as well. Okay, so I see some different stories. Um, we have somebody up at night. They're up at night. They can't think. They can't deal. They can't do anything because uh, they're just stuck. Uh, this is like super depression. If you realize, this guy is totally bummed out because three these three... Uh, cups spilled and uh, he didn't really pay attention to these two cups back here and if you keep in mind the two of cups is a soulmate because he was too sad and depressed over these three cups that had previous previously spilled so I feel like this person is finally like uh oh, no matter how hard I close my eyes, I can't get rid of the fact in my head and I can't stop thinking about it all night long that I totally had a two of cups that could have been a fun opportunity to go and do something interesting and new, something unlike uh, what I have done before. And now, all I can do is sit in some sort of regret over this behavior because I do want to have some sort of adventure. Da -da -da -da. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I love you. I love you. I do. Okay. So, um,. We have one person here. They're showing up as the Queen of Swords. This could be... Uh, okay, so up here we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sat. Okay. So over here we have Libra, Energy. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. So we have... This may be that um, the other person, they... Uh, have their back to the page of cups so I don't think they really uh, they and they are looking forward I think they are just uh, not expecting an apology and just kind of trying to move forward they see whatever for what it is uh, that is their mentality this is somebody who is uh, just uh, okay so this is a ladybug okay I see her spots okay so this is just somebody who um, is enlightened they're just not into drama they're not into whatever 
and they're not for something about this person they're not really expecting any sort of apology the other person is over here and they're showing up as the eight of pentacles and the queen of cups and so we have the other person like obsessively thinking about this person at work they're trying to think of ways to say i love you uh i think they're coming to terms with the fact this is a very uh the queen of cups can be uh an emotional energy she may be in some sort of psychic energy too she can be um uh yeah okay so this person may work with their hands yeah okay and then this person is all uh all messed up in their head uh they went from they're at the nine of swords up here at night and then during the day they're at the eight of swords they're just stuck and bound uh they can't think okay uh, they placed a bet on the wrong horse, and they should have bet on Bull in the Heather. Oh, okay. And they know it now, and and she keeps tying her her to the tree. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, Taurus, I did another read that was called Bull in the Heather, and uh, that's a song by Sonic Youth, and in the video, somebody, and it looks like this, somebody is uh, getting roped around the tree, so I'll put that, there's some, like, it, there's something, some, you're supposed to watch that reading, it, so for whatever I got, there's maybe an, an additional message for you, Taurus. I can't remember who it was for, but I will uh, link it in the comments. Okay. 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 Taurus, there may be some kind of Scorpio... Somebody you know who has Scorpio uh, in their chart? Uh, whoever it is, is totally getting... <laughs> arrowed in the back with love. Love arrows. And when that happens, when this person finally realizes how to say, I love you. Okay, we have the Tudor Rose. Okay, uh, Elizabeth and Mary, Queen of Scots. Okay, uh... I have no idea. Okay. That might mean something to somebody. Uh, okay. So when these love arrows hit this person, it, well, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. You know, a lot of people, it's Scorpionic energy. A lot of people have Scorpio in their chart. Uh, so whatever it is, when these love arrows hit this person, it's going to be the end of a cycle. If we look, this person's at, look at, eight of swords, nine of swords. Uh, they probably somehow get to ten of swords. Uh, I love you. Then the cycle ends. Here comes death. A new cycle comes, and somebody's making a judgment. There may be a reconciliation uh, let's for sure clarify. All right. Taurus. Okay. What does uh, the Eight of Wands, Death, and Judgment have to say to Taurus, please? Uh, Taurus, I'm using the Star MS mini tutorial deck.
Can I get one more, please? Okay, yeah. Okay. Somebody's feeling the pressure for sure. Okay, the arrows are hitting this person. Uh, they want to come and knock on the door of this feminine. She's a very wise person. They do like speak in tones together with each other that other people cannot hear. She maybe have, have a couple of children. Um, she's a very strong person. Okay. Let's hear about what are they thinking about at work with this uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups for Taurus. This is one person. Now the energies can flip back and forth. So if it doesn't resonate for you, Taurus, it may be a person. There's a flip. Oh, they're weird, worried that somebody doesn't want to fish in their pond. Okay. Can I get one more, please? Okay. They're worried that the Divine Feminine... Okay. So these two are very similar energies. So this person is really nervous. Look at... Okay. They're worried that the Divine Feminine may not want to fish in their pond because maybe they may not uh, make enough money right now. Um, or they're worried that the Divine Feminine doesn't want to come and live in their pond uh, or hang out in their pond uh, for whatever reason and they're just obsessing about it at work and they're getting emotional about this person. They're really like, I love you about them okay so this must be the other person how does the other person feel about Taurus or uh, what does the Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups have to tell Taurus that's what I need to say okay we got a flip -rooney. Okay, so this Queen of Swords, uh, okay, this Queen of Swords is an enlightened person. They uh, do have Jiminy Cricket who does hang out on her shoulder. If you look, he hangs out on her shoulder and he has already whispered in her ear about this person. So she knows exactly what's going on with this person. This is the masculine. This is the feminine, I believe. Uh, so this masculine is uh, somebody who is, it's very hard for this masculine to open up and show his insides. It's painful and it's scary. And so this masculine has spent all of this time obsessing about how he didn't open up because it was so painful and scary and he missed out on a wonderful opportunity with somebody that he that was cool with this Queen of Swords who has Jiminy Cricket sitting on her shoulder. Now this Queen of Swords uh, is a fair and honest person. So she always, she, she'll say, yes, come up. She holds her sword up and she says, yes, come up. Tell me what you have to say. Uh, but she's also the Queen of Swords, man. If you bullshit her, if you fuck around, if you don't treat her with respect, she will use her sword and she will cut that cord. Uh... So the Queen of Swords knows that this person, uh, it may be in their past too, they may know about some uh, traumatic or uh, emotional uh, thing that this person went through. Uh, she knows um, that uh, it's like very hard for this person to talk about emotions. So she thinks, uh, I feel like she thinks she's not going to get this apology though, but she understands, like, why it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make it right just because it's hard doesn't make it okay not to do it. But whatevs, you know, she that's where she's at, it appears. Okay. And I don't really, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, and Two of Wands for Taurus. Down, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. This person is feeling the pressure. Yeah, uh, they can't sleep. They're up at night, freaking yawning, pressuring, angering, upset. Why me? How could it happen? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Look at this awesome opportunity. This person is a bright and sunny day compared to this nonsense that I'm doing. What in the world? Uh, okay, so there is a path that had been formed with this, forged with this person. Uh, the other person may have said, hey, you want to go on a fun adventure? Do you want to do something? Do you want to hang out? Do you want to date? Do you want to whatever? And uh, this person may have Just been like uh, maybe healing, maybe just trying to reset themselves and didn't see anything in it. And now they're like, why didn't I see anything in that? Or something like that. And then this bell right on here. So now this person is uh, all upset about Bull and the Heather because it's the fastest horse. And they also can run fast. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is a little cryptic. Uh, this is probably a two-party. You may, might need to watch the bull in the heather, too. All right. So final message. What does the hanging man have to say to Taurus? Hanging man for Taurus. And then I'll recap for you, Taurus. Okay, yeah. So this is a thing of divine timing. So divine timing has come into play for uh, this person, Taurus. So here we go. We have somebody showing up, Taurus. They had put themselves, uh, or the universe had put them in a hanging man position. They had needed to take the time to heal, to see life from a different perspective. Uh, this person had refused to open their eyes and actually... Uh, be illuminated, but uh, no matter how hard you try, okay, the person may have had a rude awakening. Uh, whatever it happened, whatever it was, divine timing came into play. Rude awakening, okay. So yeah, there it is. They can't sleep because they're having a rude awakening, okay. So uh, this person is really upset. They are up at night thinking about some sort of opportunity that they had. They uh, kind of spent too much time uh, in some sort of sorrow or sadness to realize they had this opportunity. Uh, here is the opportunity. Hey, you want to go on a fun adventure? Uh I've got this killer ball we can play with, too. I have an awesome game that I know how to do. They may have already, they may have, like, started something and then maybe stopped, and the path just kind of stopped. Uh, whatever. I think it was, like, the person was thinking about going, and then they just, like, bailed on it or something. Uh, they bailed, probably bailed on it because it's painful to open up and scary to open up to this person, to, uh... The new person, which is this person. Uh, so the masculine, we'll just do masculine and feminine. So the masculine uh, is, it's very hard, painful for him to open up. He might have just uh, clammed up, okay. Uh, and he may need to give some sort of apology or offer, but she doesn't see it coming. She is a fair and honest person. She has Jim Jiminy Cricket on her shoulder. She knows... And she walks the right path, okay? And she knows that it's hard for this dude to open up, okay? Here's the masculine. He's at work, obsessive, obsessing about this divine feminine. Uh, will she? Uh, will she want to fish in his pond? Will she want to live in his pond? Will she want to do something with him? Uh, he's getting all up in his emotions. He's full of queen of cups in his emotions, and uh, I just see like um, it's just really thinking about the divine feminine. Okay, so this could be spirit too, working with on this person. Uh, 
Here they are. They realize they uh, placed a bet on the wrong horse. Okay. And they should have gone with Bull and the Heather. Okay. They don't know how to say I love you. All right. And then Spirit is trying to send in the arrows. Okay. Send in the message. I love you. Bum, 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 bum. I love you. <laughs> okay, so when the arrows hit the pixie, they'll learn how to say, I love you. Uh, and then uh, there might be some sort of form of message or communication from one person to the other. Uh, the pressure is super building up. Spirit is uh, really making... Uh, Working its magic uh, to try to get this masculine to knock on the feminine's door. All right, Taurus, there's your reading. C crazy cool. Let's see what the universe has to say. What the universe has your back? I'm just going to uh, pull one card and we'll end it with that. Taurus, what does the universe want to tell our Taurus friends? Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, bum 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 da na na na. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Oh, Taurus, look at how beautiful that bird is. All right. I love you. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Uh, if you like our read, you can hit like and subscribe and join the Star Gang. We're learning life lessons in a cool and neat way. It's totally free. Uh, if you want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right there in the description. All right, Taurus. Have a great day. Peace out.